G'day scrappers, thought today I'd do a little scrap out of an air conditioner. So this is just your regular old house air conditioner, it's obviously missing the front cover but uh, I picked this up on a uh, hard rubbish while street scrapping um, quite a few weeks ago. It's just been sitting around waiting for the right time to uh, for me to get a chance to scrap it out. So I just figured, well, a lot of times scrappers will pick these up and they'll, you know, just throw them in the back of the truck and take them straight to the scrap yard and sell it as scrap steel. Um, if they don't, you know, feel like scrapping it all out. But as scrap steel, I weighed it up. Currently, here in Australia, I would get $4.25 for this scrapped out. Uh, just just sent like this as um, scrap metal so four dollars twenty five I reckon we can get a little bit extra value here because we've got uh, copper aluminium radiators there's one at the front here there's one at the back plus we're still going to have scrap metal left over um, so uh, let's scrap it out and see um, what kind of value we can get uh, from the components inside and just have a look at what they actually look like these old air conditioners I think the best thing is to just I've undone the bolts at the back so I think it's just gonna slide out of this case Okay. Well, that was easy enough. So yeah, we've got the nice little copper aluminium radiator on the front. Looks like another radiator here on the side, on the back. Uh, not sure if it's copper. It is definitely a copper <laughs> aluminium radiator. So now, okay, we've got our little can here that uh, so we've got some copper tubing. Here's not a not a whole lot really but I'm sure that there's going to be you know a little bit more value here um, in the copper and, and stuff so that's all nice you know just copper wire so we'll weigh it all up and so might as well just uh, obviously going to get more for the copper if I take it off and I suppose I could always cut out all these copper pipes and stuff but I'm just not going to bother with that I'm sure I'll get uh, extra value if I cut out all this copper, but I think for this project, I just want to see the basic scrap value and Okay.
you just undo these screws, get this uh, frame out. Okay, so here's our nice copper aluminium radiator, and so so these side plates are still um, steel. So I'm not sure how it how it really works. I'm sure that. Uh, this would just go, still go as a copper aluminium radiator, even though there's iron um, still here. Just not sure. But if I cut all these pieces out, you know, I could probably even get the copper pipe running through it. But I think I'm just going to leave it as a copper aluminium radiator and yeah yeah the only way to get this steel plate on the side out is to actually cut these off and Not sure if it would. Yeah, it looks like it'll come off actually quite easily. And I, I'm pretty sure to sell it as a copper, copper aluminium radiator. I would need to take this steel part off. So what I think I'm going to do is cut out all these. We'll just um, I mean this way we're obviously going to get some more clean copper so we can you know we're going to increase the value here probably going to take a little bit more time but let's just assume that we've got all the time in the world and we want to you know get as much value as we can out of out of this without going too crazy and spending you know hours on it <laughs> okay so we've got our little copper pieces just see if this actually comes out gonna have to give it a bit of a bash Okay, so I've got this side part out and yet yeah, just a bit of scrap steel. I'm still, I'm just not sure whether to sell this as a copper aluminium radio, you need to take this off or not. Um, it was a bit of work, uh, you know, it didn't, it wasn't really that hard, but just a little bit more than I uh, kind of wanted to get into it. 
So I'm just thinking now, yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be very easy to get out the copper tubes uh, out of this aluminium. Oh, it wouldn't be too bad, but it's just too messy and really not what I, you know, I don't want to go, because it's all sort of crushed up a bit, it's just going to be too hard to, and too messy to get out the copper. So I'm just going to leave it like that as a copper aluminium radiator, and I'm going to leave this part on it and just find out from the scrapyard whether this is uh, how they accept it or do I need to take that off? Um, but I've got a little bit extra copper, some nice little bits of copper. Alright, so, well that was fun. <laughs> it was certainly uh, different. So all we've really got here now, we've got our motor. So we can get that, we've got this uh, compressor kind of thing here and uh, this looks all, this whole thing looks like it's copper. Yeah, so that'll be alright. foam up here. So I guess all we need to do is Cut a few wires. Undo a couple of screws. This one should come out. Alright, cut this. Yeah, see, well, this one here doesn't have the uh, steel side plates, so it's got just a little bit here. So uh, this one's certainly a lot easier. Well, that's two. Now, this stuff's just polystyrene. Isn't that strange that they would use polystyrene inside an air conditioner? And it's quite heavy, it weighs just under 30 kilos or about 66 pounds. So, even with the polystyrene, so, geez. So there's some weight in it. And a bit of aluminium. Okay, so we've got some wiring here. Actually some pretty good, you know, a decent wad of wire. We've got the capacitor that I don't bother with. Some people throw these into irony alloy, but it's, yeah, I, I don't bother. Yeah, interesting. I'll just clean a bit of this up while I'm here. So mostly it's going to be 
copper wire, copper aluminium radiators, a, uh, a motor, and scrap steel. So that's pretty good. A bit more here. The main cord. It's like uh, this thing here could probably go as a kind of like a, a motor. So that's just scrap steel for me. And we've got this uh, this little thing, regulator or something, but you can even put that in as motors. But this little piece here that's uh, insulated, it's actually copper. By the looks of it. Yep, that's nice copper. So I'll just get that out. All right. Now that side's kind of done. Just got to get out this motor. And this compressor thingy. One more at the back there, I can't. Don't know if I can get to. Um. Oh, that's pretty solid plastic. Okay. So, here we go, um, nice little, uh, I think they're called compressors, I'm not really sure, I'd imagine it is, and I certainly don't want to open it up and, you know, chase any copper inside, that most likely will be, um, but we do have this really nice chunk of copper here. So, we want to try and keep it uh, reasonably simple, you know. Some scrappers would be looking saying, oh, I do these all the time, I cut these open and whatever. Um, we just want the base value. And I think we're going to get pretty good value. Okay, so this is all nice copper. It's got a really nice copper tube here. Um, there's a bit of weight there, probably a pound. Um, yeah, and I, I, I don't want to go into this compressor. Um, so not sure this might I might be able to get away with this throwing this in a motor because it uh, does feel like there's it's either solid steel or it, there's some good copper inside it but that's just not my idea of scrapping I I prefer to um, you know, scrap re relatively easily. Okay, but we do have some wire. Now, all that's left is this motor. The only problem is, it looks like it's going to be a bit of work.
Yep. I'm going to need the vacuum cleaner after this. There's so much dust and spider webs and, and stuff. That was no good. The thread actually snapped in it. I don't know how much luck I'm going to have in pulling this motor out, you know, guys. The thread snapped. And I just don't think I'm going to be able to. Yeah, it snapped in and it's probably rusty. So, I think I'm going to have to work on this motor, probably just cut it out with an angle grinder or something. Um, so I'll have to leave it, but it's not a very big motor. I've got similar size motors. I can get a value on that anyway. And the rest is scrap steel, so. Let's get the value out of this. Um, from this and uh, yeah I'll just calculate the motor as scrap steel and if I get the motor out it's just a bonus all right so we got copper wire Copper wire and more copper. All right, I'll just get the scales. Okay, well, it was a bit of a rough scrap. Um, as I said, it's uh, the, probably the first time I've ever done one reasonably detailed like this, and it's been a long time since I've actually done an air conditioner. It's just not my thing. I normally just pass them on. But anyway, as we um, at the start, I think I think the value of the air conditioner as scrap metal was about four dollars twenty-five. Okay, so that's if we just threw the whole thing straight into scrap metal, and it's actually turned out pretty good um, in value-wise. So that's all our scrap metal, all our scrap steel. Sorry, and now I've left the motor on there because it's going to take quite a bit of work for me to to get that motor out and I'll just uh, balance you know work out if it's actually worth my time to take that motor out so at the moment I'm just uh, valuing the motor as scrap steel so keep that in mind um, but this compressor I'm going to value it as a a little bit cheaper motor so might be able to just throw this in with motors and so here we go so remember it was $4.25 just straight into scrap steel otherwise we've got our copper here and it come up to $3.70 worth of candy copper our, our insulated wire not a lot only 40 cents worth our copper aluminium radiators uh, these two here and uh, only one of them had a half the steel removed the other one's only got a little piece so uh, i'm assuming that we can get away with that as a copper aluminium radiator there's 3.2 kilos so my guess price is um per kilo worked out to nine dollars seventy so nine dollars seventy just for these two radiators and then the motor or compressor this actually weighs 10 kilos so 22 pounds just this compressor um, and so at if i put it in motors around 50 cents a kilo it's five dollars ten just for the this compressor and the scrap steel that we're left with including the motor st still in there that's a dollar 95 at scrap steel prices so as i said four dollars 25 if we just sold the whole thing as scrap steel and my rough as guts uh scrap out it wasn't very good some people will you know be able to get that motor out get better value but pretty much i got everything out it works out to twenty dollars and 85 cents so that's a big difference to just throwing it into scrap steel or spending look honestly it only took me 
you know, 10 minutes really. Um, fiddled around a bit, but if you did these regularly, um, by the time you've done three or four, you'll be really good at it quick, know what to expect, and you'll probably even get a little bit more if you get the motor out and that. But very surprising that I got $20.85 value, just as what we can see right there. Amazing. You know, the compressor is obviously surprising how heavy it is. I'm assuming that there's going to be some good copper in here or two. I'm not really sure. I don't... I forgot all about... Uh, what's inside these compressor things and you know they're just not my thing um, normally I I don't even pick up air conditioners I prefer not to deal with them you know same as refrigerators and stuff like that but I tell you what I might reconsider air conditioners in the future because geez just that compressor alone if I get motor price it's five dollars just for that you know the scrap steel will still get dollar 95 but the uh copper aluminium radiator is only 3.2 kilograms nine dollars 70 for these so we've more than we've doubled our scrap value even more just by getting these two radiators out even if you threw the rest in but then we and you know obviously got the copper uh which is three dollars 70 and a bit of wire so anyway guys i hope that was a bit of fun it uh it was a bit of a um an unplanned scrap i just sort of i've been scrapping out pcs and stuff all morning and i thought i finally got to this uh air condition that was sitting on the ground everything was on top of it so i thought oh here's a chance i'll scrap it out hey why not turn on the video because i'm pretty sure i did promise that i'll do this on video um so i, I wasn't in the right you know in the air conditioner frame of mind to scrap it out and uh make the video look a bit more professional it was a bit rough a bit clumsy but hey we got there in the end and all i can say is that you certainly um you know you're much better off scrapping these out if you find them pick them up because you got some really good value surprisingly in what little is there um you know for me over 20 bucks you can't go wrong with that you pick these up 20 bucks a pop what more do you want all right guys well i better get back to work and keep scrapping some more stuff out so i can make some room for street scrapping on the weekend so have a good day guys and i'll catch you next time